watch a dub and the family. All right, fam. So I'm about to make the meatballs. Um, we've got about five pounds of meat and all the other stuff to go with it. Um, I'll go ahead and show you that. But we're about to make the meatballs, and yeah, hope you enjoy it. Hey fam, we're fixing to go ahead and do the meatballs. Um, all right, I have not all five pounds of the ground beef I used, but a good majority. I don't know if you can see that very well. And then uh, what we do is I add garlic, to it like I like them really garlicky so this is like a tablespoon so two of them and I also like to put just a little bit of the juice okay and we have one medium onion cut up hello and then garlic sea salt put that in there you can never have enough garlic ground black pepper try to get it all over Italian seasonings this is say it's got like marjoram basil rosemary thyme oregano savory and sage I put a good amount okay and then we put Parmesan cheese. We love Parmesan. This is Parmesan and Romano. I add that. And then I have these eggs here. I'm going to crack about eight of them. And then I've got the Italian seasoned breadcrumbs that will go on that. So I'll, I'm going to go ahead and start cracking these eggs. And I'll be right back at you. Alright, so we got our eight eggs, and we're just going to add them to our meat mixture. Kind of roll the bowl into itself so you don't get any hang over here. And then put in the breadcrumbs. You don't want to put all of them in yet. You don't know how much you're going to need. But then you're going to squish it all up. And then we'll see... What if we need to add more egg or if we add need to add more breadcrumb? So I'm gonna mix this up and I'll be right with you. Now. All right, so we got it mixed up. You can see the onion bits and stuff like that in there, but it's all mixed up. It's nice and um, it's not too wet, not too dry. So you grab some. Yes, I used a glove to mix it all. So anyway, get it. You don't want to work it too much, but just like this, that size, and I'm going to put them in this pan because I'm going to fry them in the pan, and then once they're golden brown on the outside, um, probably cook them in the pan for about 20-25 minutes all together, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the sauce over it. Now, I do make my own sauce, but today's been a day. I'm not making my own sauce. That'll be another day, guys. So you just put them in there. We're going to line them up all the way around. And then I'm more than likely going to have more left over. So it'll be two rounds of this. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to roll up the balls. And we'll get back with you. Hey, guys. I'm rolling the balls now. Yeah, she. this is one of her favorite parts is rolling the meatballs I don't know what it is but when I was a little kid was, I loved messing with the meat <laughs> it's very cold and I'm very warm right now <laughs> <laughs> let me see that's a good one roll it real real good tight the key is to make them real tight so whenever they're cooking they don't fall apart you don't want ground beef Sometimes the onions try to pop out. So you shove them back in and then you roll it again. To make sure they Show them how you roll. Show them the ball. Yeah. Let's see. Let's, Let's zoom in. 
See, she shoved in the onion, and then she's going to roll it again. And that's what we got to do sometimes, the onions come out. Yeah. But when you bake, when you make them, I was going to say bake them. We usually bake them in a 375 oven for about 35, 45 minutes. Grill? No, we're doing them in that pan. So anyway, she's going to continue to roll up the balls, and uh, we'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, so here are the meatballs. They're all done. We, we managed to fit them all in here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. 21. <laughs> so we're going to put this on about six and a half. No, we're going to put it on six. We're going to go ahead and let it cook just like this. Get it brown on that side. Then we're going to flip them and get brown on the other side. We'll show you the finished product in a little bit. Okay, so this is what the meatballs are looking like. Don't worry about them a little crispy or whatever. They're fixing to get all this here. Like I told you, I'm not going to make my own homemade sauce today. So that's what I got. I got two of, two of that one, one of the five cheese, and one of the tomato basil. And I'm going to put those in here. Just a second. Alright guys, so I got that sauce in there. And then now I'm just moving the balls around, getting them all up in there. Look at that, y'all. Are you jelly that you ain't here to get some? I would be. Anyway, so we're just going to let that simmer. Probably put a lid on it if I can find Oh, I put the lid over here. Bam lids on now we got to cook the pasta we'll holler back at y'all show y'all whenever it's all the way done yeah. peace are the meatballs good you better save me a piece i did this is your piece oh, okay bye y'all all right guys so we got some french bread here and i got some chopped garlic it's basically in a paste so we're just gonna mix it up and then we're gonna slather it Make Under it here, garlic. it's roasted garlic. It looks we delicious. We could have easily bought some garlic bread. But why? This what? is the best. You can make it homemade and it tastes so much better. And I'm sorry, garlic bread. I know you're my favorite, but when you make it homemade, it's oh. It's so good. You would make this every time you would have spaghetti. Like I said, you can't have enough garlic. So... We're putting a ton of garlic and everything. <laughs> well, that's what Italians do, boo. That is rude. You put some more than that. Karen, oh, really? oh, I have to, um, hey, we're recording. Son, go wash the hands. Um, I'm sorry for that incident. Anyway, that we're happened. gonna use all of this on here. I'm trying to get it all. That's why you should shoot a. What are they saying? Use the you spoon. You should have used a spoon. Yes. Like you should have. Yes. Anyway, so we just get it all on there. And then we put it in the oven for like maybe five minutes. But I'm going to put some Italian seasonings on top. And oh my it. goodness. It is golden brown. And when it comes out, yep, it's golden it's brown. It's delicious. All right, y'all, so I'm just going to continue to kind of spread this all around. And then we're going to get um, some Italian seasonings and put it on. And then um, there it be, y'all. Delicious. And I'll show y'all the finished whole product. The garlic bread with the pasta. Water's boiling right here. Yep, there it is. And then, um, and then you got the meatballs over the there with the balls. sauce. Over there. So Mix the that's water. it, y'all. I'm also going to add some tabs of butter on here. Oh, yeah, it Can't makes it creamy. Wrong. Without no more butter. Without butter. With butter, that's it. So, anyway, we'll holler back at y'all. <coughs> Whoop. All right, guys, so here is our 
uh, bread. Let's get close up in there. We've got five little tabs of butter on each one. And then we're going to put it in down in a there. 400 degree oven down in the DMs. Don't do that. <laughs> I hate that thing. All right. Set it and forget it. See y'all when we get back. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take the bread out. Take a look at it. You don't ever want to watch out. It's hot as hell. You don't ever want it to go over. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this right quick. Just give me a second. Okay. Look at look at that butter. It has We're melted. gonna spread the butter. Yeah, cause it doesn't spread it. So if you actually have to spread it, spread it. Make sure you use the, you have the same Are knife or the different. You're knife. moving it around. Oh, you're recording. <laughs> Why would you ask such a thing? Cause you're moving it around, so we do it. Because I can't. You're <laughs> just kidding. All right, you hear look. that crunch? Look. Yummy! Yeah, it has the look. It has a nice crunch. little crunch on it, and it's made of because a little tan right there. You see that? Little tan. All right, that's the bread. I'll show you the rest of it in a little bit. Woo! All right, y'all. So here is the finished product. This is my husband's plate. He's got two meatballs, two. Uh, bread, garlic bread. There it is, y'all. Yummy. Yeah. All right, y'all. So here is the finished product. This is my husband's plate. He's got two meatballs, two uh, bread, garlic bread. There it is, y'all. Yummy. Subscribe, support, and stay tuned.